Giuliano, Lorenzo's brother. Where is Francesco? There he is. Time to strike. Crespa, Danny Dolly! Giuliano, no! The man who did this to you has to pay. Ah, not now. I need help first. To my home. People I trust them. Can you... Ah. Stay close. I'm losing a lot of blood. Hang on, Chief. Yuri, I'm moving as fast as I can. Francesco de Marti! I'll kill him. I'll wipe my entire family from the city. They'll be alive! We attack the signore. Conserve your energy, or I'll be delivering the corpse. We're almost there. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. This 
Please, God, let me live. Please, God, let me live. I'd not forget how to make sure. I had hope come back. Quickly. So. Ah, and more than capable of this. to the Pazzi. My name is Ezio Auditore. Ah. You're Giovanni's son. Your father was a good man. He understood honor, loyalty. The Pazzi thugs are storming the Palazzo della Signoria. We cannot hold them off much longer. No. If they get inside, they'll murder our supporters and put their own devils in power. Then my survival would mean nothing. I have to... Uh... Francesco de Pazzi. Help save our city, Auditore. Kill him. Signori, I saw Francesco lead a battalion around the back of the Palazzo della Signoria. I fear he may be seeking another way in. Go, before it's too late. Do what you can!
short work of you. This is the your inevitable end. What do you think you're true? You're a lawyer, servant, you have dog, Lorenzo. Death shall be your own reward. It's coming. It's just us now. Maledetto che il diavolo ti porti! Stavi lontano! When I was six years old, I fell into the Arno. I soon found myself drifting down and into darkness. Certain my life was at an end. Instead, I woke to the sound of my mother weeping. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. And so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families. Yours and mine. I am sorry I could not save your father and brothers. You have nothing to apologize for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. The attack on you as well. I need to find him. That coward fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves well. They? Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape. If they work with Jacopo, they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei, Archbishop Francesco Salviati, Stefano da Bagnone, and Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene, 
I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait. Before you go. A codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco de Pazzi. Seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity. As did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Che il Signore ci protegga. Exactly. Well, whatever your reasons, the city is safe again thanks to you. Now tell me, how may I be of service? Ah, another page. Aha, it's a similar cipher to the last one. This won't take long. Interesting. Hmm. Indeed. I see. It's another blade design. For delivering poison. Can you build it? See, it won't take very long. I just need to find a way to hollow out the blade without sacrificing the... It's all right, Leonardo. Just do what you need to do. All done. I filled your blade with a bit of poison to start with. Should you run out, just visit a doctor. Poison? From a doctor? In high enough doses, that which cures can kill. I am in your debt once more, my friend. Anytime, Ezio. Anytime. Purchase. Good day, Signore.
<laughs> come in, come in! I've been sent from Firenze by El Magnifico to attend to some unfinished business. I'm looking for Jacopo de Pazzi. Ha! Who is it? We've been at it for days. And perhaps what I carry will help us both. A list of his co-conspirators. One of them will talk before he dies. Excellent. These men are sure to lack Jacopo's resources, which means they will be easier to find. I will put my scouts to it at once. I appreciate the help, Uncle. I've got something else for you as well. More Codex pages. Ah, let's see what we can learn. What is this? What profit? What did you find, Uncle? Just another damn mystery. The text here roughly translates to only the prophet may open it. There's reference to two pieces of Eden, but these pages offer no answers, Nipote. At least, not on their own. You must find more. We'll have to save it for another day, Uncle. I have a mission to attend to. As you wish. Now, if you hope to defeat these bastardi, I will need to teach you a few things. Meet me on the practice field. All right, Ezio. You're familiar with counter-attacking, but what happens when your enemy is as well? I don't usually give them the opportunity. Tough talk offers little protection against Templar steel. Then by all means, Maestro, teach me what to do. Now dodge! Uh, hurry up and die! I'm getting thirsty! Bene, bene! Now do it again! Much better! One last Bravo. time now! men, and they wait your word to strike. Relay the following. No man moves until they have spoken with Ezio. Intesi? It will be done. Go, Ezio. Visit with my mercenaries in the countryside. See if Jacopo's lackeys won't lead you to him. But be careful. They will be expecting you.
Archbishop Salviati. He's barricaded himself inside that villa. Take some of my men. Use them to clear the fields. Then find a way over the wall so you can open the gates. Ah. Command over my own army. A nice change of pace from the usual sneaking and stabbing. I like it.
Brignone. Just follow this road and it'll bring you to the abbey where he's taken refuge. Wait. Before you go, take these. You can use them to create a distraction. My thanks, friend.
distracted. Killed. It will be okay. And if he does come, if it happens, I keep moving. Never in one place for me. Only, only how to sleep. How to sleep. Where to sleep. He's here! Help! Antonio Maffei has sought refuge atop the city's tallest structure, spouting scripture and arrows in equal measure. The man has clearly lost his mind. Making matters worse, he's posted archers all around him. You'd do well to clear them out before approaching. Grazie for the information. Yes. <laughs> 
What are you and the others planning, Now, what's the matter with you? Porca puttana! You'd think I was a fairly noticeable optical laden as I was. I'm good people here. I tell you. What's the pleasant surprise? Come She must be beautiful. Must have been drinking the good stuff. Ben, where to? Look what will you pay for that straw? 
Our master of the La Tortura is so good. You'll be telling him your secrets. You'll let the legend of Alexia. His secrets. Let her as well. Responsible for my father's death. The letter mentioned Venezia. Are there Templars there as well? Responsible for my father's death. I'm sorry, Maestro. I did all I could, but the assassin proved too strong. Clearly. As the others would be here with you. To say nothing of the fact that Firenze remains in Medici hands. It's Francesco's fault. His impatience made him reckless. I tried to be the voice of reason. More like the voice of cowardice. You're one to talk, Signor Barbarigo. Had you sent us quality weapons instead of this garbage you Venetians call armament? We put our faith in your family and you repay us with inaction and incompetence? Then when asked to account for your failures, you make excuses and insult us? How do you expect me to respond? I don't know. It's all right. I do. No. Please. No, don't. <laughs> Please don't what? I can fix. 
fix this. Spare me. No. What a mess. So sorry to have claimed your prize, assassin. Did you honestly think I wouldn't expect you to follow? That I didn't plan for it? We've been at this a lot longer than you. Kill him. I know you're only doing as you're told. So if you release me, I will spare your lives. Ha! Listen to... Ah! Oh! Batman! <laughs> I was longing to greet you. Never break me. I will not die in shame. Get in front of him. Pazzi are dead. Every one of them. I must admit, I've never before believed I could desire the death of others so badly. Nor I. Ezio. Thank you for the role you've played in keeping this dream of mine alive a little longer. L'onore è mio, signore. What will you do now, figliolo? There are still others I must hunt, signore. They are already digging their claws into the heart of Venezia. No. La bella Venezia. Then that is where your journey must take you, Ezio. Before you leave us, I have something for you. A gift. This cape identifies you as a friend of the Medici. As long as you wear it, the city guards will be more tolerant of your actions. But be warned, it will not grant you immunity from the law. E la fortuna favorisca la tua lama. 